What's up guys? Today we're going to talk about different ways to run Windows based applications on your Apple computer. Uh, we're going to focus on two programs. One is a paid download, the other one is free. They are both very simple ways to run Windows applications in OS X. The great thing about these options is that you will not need to install the Windows operating system to get the applications to work. Now this will only work on Windows XP compatible applications. If you need something for a newer application that will only work with Windows 7, uh, we'll talk about a couple other options uh, including VMware Fusion and uh, Boot Camp. And we're going to talk about all that right now. So the two programs we're talking about are Win on X and Play on Mac. Uh, Play on Mac is available at playonmac.com and Win on X is available in the Mac App Store. Now Play on Mac is a free download. Win on X is going to cost you five bucks. And uh, in my opinion, Win on X is the better piece of software. They both run on the same Wine project frameworks. So the programs that are compatible will be compatible with both of these programs. Now, you're only going to be able to use programs that will work with Windows XP. Uh, there are a few exceptions to that rule, but uh, on the uh, website, uh, you can go to WinOnX support or the supported software on playonmac.com. Now, I'm only going to show you one because they are pretty much the same, and I'm going to show you the one I like more, which is WinOnX. So once you install WinOnX, you see down here in the dock, um, you're going to see exe files, which are generally a Windows file. They're going to have an icon and allow you to open it rather than making you search for a program. So I've got a BlackBerry Desktop Manager. Download it, uh, and I'm going to just show you how it works. So you double click on it, and it's going to automatically open, start to install. You're going to have to go through the install wizard the same way you would on, on Windows. So I'm just going to cancel out of it because I don't need it. Um, once the program is installed, you can get to it by going to More Applications. So I have a program here, BlackBerry Calculator 2, uh, that's already on there. Double click on it, you'll see it opens up. So this is very simple, uh, but it works. Uh, it complete functionality, and this is a basic application. So instead of having to get a Windows computer or load Windows on your computer, this is a very simple way to do it without having to install Windows. So I would recommend the $4.99 download of Win on X because I believe it is the better of the two and you will also get upgrades and updates as time goes on as they develop the software further. Now your other options, uh, if you're looking for something that will work with more 3D, uh, more graphic intensive programs that only work with uh, Windows 7 64-bit for example, you're going to want to use VMware Fusion or to boot camp your system. Now VMware Fusion is an emulator. It uh, acts as a system. Uh, with VMware Fusion uh, you can run Linux, you can run Windows 7 XP, Vista if you really want to, uh, that sort of thing. Um, VMware Fusion is I believe an $80 download and it's an application for your Mac. So that's only the first part with Bootcamp. It's included with all new Apple computers. Now, you're still going to need an official installation disk for Windows. So you're looking at an additional cost either way. Now, with VMware Fusion, you are gonna have to tweak the settings a little bit because with VMware Fusion, it automatically limits your hardware because you're simultaneously running two operating systems. So you can close down the Windows based app, the Windows operating system in VMware Fusion and change the settings so you're using all your cores or all your graphic processing power. With Boot Camp, you're automatically using everything because it is the only operating system running on your system. Boot Camp, uh, you gotta restart to get back to OS X. Uh, with VMware Fusion, you can switch back and forth as much as you want. And at the end of the day, you just have to decide which one suits your needs the best. If you're uh, looking for something for gaming, you may want to check out Boot Camp. Um, but if you want to run apps on both sides, you're going to want to check out VMware Fusion. Obviously, both of these have a minimum $200 price tag. So as long as you're willing to do that, 
those are your best options for anything hardware intensive. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter. Um, I'm going to keep posting regular updates. Uh, and we're going to start putting out a video, a couple videos a week. Uh, we're going to be moving into some hardware stuff, uh, showing you guys how to fix your own device. And we're going to talk about apps, free ways to get stuff legally, of course. So uh, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. And uh, thanks for watching.